Jason, good to see you. Today we are talking through the four expenses that retirees almost always underestimate. And it is so important to nail down those known expenses in retirement so you can build an income plan around them. So the number one cost that we are almost always underestimating is healthcare, of course. Medicare doesn't cover everything and long-term care can wipe out your savings if you don't have insurance. Absolutely. It comes down to, again, like we always talk about, Aaron, sometimes feel like a broken record, but it all comes down to planning. And you're absolutely correct. Healthcare uh, costs can really eat into a, a retirement plan, if not planned for properly. Mm -hmm. And we can see here that, you know, the, the, the medical expenses that are outside of Medicare can account for a significant amount. And then drugs, um, you know, as we age, our health changes in our, you know, oftentimes our need for medications is going to change over time. And unfortunately, it's currently the, the, the world we live in today that some of those medications can be quite costly. So right. planning ahead for that is really important. Right. Number two, housing. Even if you own your home outright, of course, you're still going to have housing expenses. Yeah, you're just not going to get away from it. Uh, whether you own the home outright or you decide to, you know, downsize or move into a condo or move into a, a you know, a, a retirement community, you're always going to have these expenses and um, just planning for those big things. You know, looking at upgrades, windows, and a new roof, and and mechanicals, and and you know, just things like landscaping and you know, lawn care, all that kind of stuff. I mean, all this stuff can really add up quickly. And so, you know, oftentimes I know nobody wants to hear. I got to create a budget. Like I hate that word. My wife hates that word. I don't like that word. But at the end of the day, the, the best way to control that is to is to budget in and, and make sure we have money set aside to take care of these issues. Mm -hmm. And number three, I know this one is always on my bingo card with you. Taxes, right? A lot of retirees will still be paying income taxes. And a lot of retirees don't even know that Social Security is taxed. Yeah, it uh, really kind of takes people by surprise sometimes when they find out that as, as much as 85% of their social security can be subject to income tax. And, you know, I always say this, every single dollar that you send to the United States treasury is a dollar that you don't get to spend or keep invested. And, you know, sometimes we'll kind of joke around and say, well, who do you think is going to spend it wiser, you or the government? Uh, but at the end of the day, you know, one of the key components of a retirement plan is the tax plan and trying to figure out how to reduce or mitigate that tax as much as possible. And, you know, oftentimes we've been able to see we can get clients down to a zero percent tax bracket. And but it but it requires a substantial amount of planning and coordination with a CPA to get that done. Right. Proactive planning, too. And number four, of course, travel and leisure. We want to be able to enjoy this retirement that we've worked so hard for. You worked all these years. Uh, you know, every single one of those dollars that you've managed to save was, you know, hard earned, I'm sure. Um, and yes, absolutely. Uh, you, we have to make sure that you have opportunities for travel, leisure, picking up hobbies, doing the things that you want to do. We just want to make sure we do it in a thoughtful way. You know, oftentimes what we see is when people initially retire, they have their 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 first, you know, three to five years is when they spend the most. That's the, right. what we call the go-go years. That's when all yep. the honeydew lists get done, all of the updates to the house get done, and all of those bucket list things, you know, taking that trip out west or, you know, heading overseas or whatever, that's when those things tend to happen. So we just want to make sure we plan for that uh, because absolutely, you're right, Aaron. We worked hard. You deserve it. So, and then let's just circle it all up back with the big red bow at the end. How do we avoid these surprise expenses? You know, again, it just comes down to planning, you know, yeah. like, uh, for example, I got to reach over here because I had it, on, but, you know, planning with purpose is what it's all about. I mean, if you don't take the time to plan, you know, cliche, my dad would always say is if you, you fail to plan, then you should plan to fail. And, you know, so often through our working years, you know, it's just, we're making enough to make ends meet and we can put some money away and, you know, there's enough money in the checkbook. So we don't really live on a budget. I mean, that's pretty common for people to come in and say, I, I don't know what I spend because I just always have made enough to where it didn't matter. Well, when you shut off the income, now it starts to matter. And that's where, that's again, you know, planning right. with purpose, I think is really important. If you haven't read my book yet, I do highly suggest reading it. It's an easy read, very practical advice that anyone can apply to their situation with or without an advisor. Agreed. And get rid of all those surprises. All right, Jason, yep. thanks so much for your time today. My pleasure.